Hey y'all, welcome back to Zine with Keys. Today I'll be showing you how I make red snapper, melted leek, broccolini with roasted potatoes, and a sour cream horseradish sauce. For this recipe, you will need one piece of red snapper, about two potatoes, some broccolini, an organic leek, some white wine vinegar, horseradish, capers, sour cream, and butter. First, you're going to cut up your leek. So I like to cut the ends off, slice it down the middle, and then slice it into thin pieces. I like to soak mine in water, as you should, is recommended, because this is a root vegetable, and it's a lot of dirt and dust that's in the, um, the leek. So let it soak. Then you're going to cut up your potatoes into nice little pieces um, so that they are easy for roasting. Next, you're going to take the leaves off of your broccolini. Here, I placed my broccolini and potatoes on a baking sheet covered with oil, drizzled it with some olive oil, and then I'm going to season it with my favorite Creole seasoning and some pepper. Then I'm going to put this into the oven on 420 degrees for about 25 minutes. Next, I'm going to get a small saucepan and add in some Smart Balance Organic Butter. Here, I'm going to add in the leeks, season it with black pepper and my favorite Creole seasoning. I'm going to let this simmer for about... 15 to 20 minutes until the leeks are very soft and kind of like melted texture. Um, you'll see at the end what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going to get a large frying pan, add in some organic Smart Balance butter again, melt that, and I'm going to pat dry my pieces of red snapper. Here I'm going to season the skin side first with my favorite Creole seasoning and black pepper. So you want to let these pieces cook for about 5 minutes on the skin side down and then flip them over and let them cook for about 3 to 5 minutes on the skinless side. Now I'm removing my vegetables and potatoes from the oven. Here they are nice and roasted after about 25 minutes on 420. Lastly, I'm going to mix up my sour cream sauce. So here I am adding sour cream, horseradish, some capers, and a little bit of white wine vinegar, a little more sour cream um, to get the consistency that I want. And then I'm going to toss my potatoes in this mixture. It's kind of like having a baked potato with sour cream on it if you were to have. 